Now, has Hebben put Hebben back on the map? The BBC Two sitcom set in South Tyneside starring Vic Reeves and Gina McKee comes to an end tonight. Well, the series has divided opinion among the locals and its creators are waiting to hear if they have a second series. For tonight's Look North report, Sharuna Saga has taken the writer Jason Cook back to his South Tyneside roots to find out how his Geordie comedy has been received. I've never been to Newcastle before. <laughs> Whoa, we're not in Newcastle. We're in heaven. Heaven where dreams come to die. I can't see anything wrong with this place. And this is where it's set. Now, the six-part series has caused quite a stir. Some people absolutely love it. Hello! <laughs> Others don't care for the way local people have been portrayed. But whether you love it or you hate it, it's certainly given the nation a taste of heaven. Is this your lass? Aye. Wazik! Hutchie, cut back here, you little sod! Welcome to heaven, pet. So why have you brought me here? Where are this we? is the beautiful River Tyne. Uh, this is the Riverside Park in Hebben. Um, and this is where I used to play when I was a kid. But this all used to be shipyards where my family used to work. But yeah, this is like my favourite part of Hebben. This, I love the river. Welcome to the family pet. <laughs> Hebben's really, really a love letter to my mum and dad. And I just wanted to show a family, a northeast family, um, who don't have loads, but they're not poor. They're just like everybody else in, in the northeast. And, and it's, they've got a lot of love that keeps them together. And then it's the story of a lad who's moved away from home and thinks he's better than where he came from. And he gradually realises that he's not. You are, you are where you come from. He's living his dream. Ah, but when are we going to live our dream? This is it, Joe. This is it. Now, you must have known when you wrote it that you'd get a bit of stick for it. Um, probably naively didn't. Really, you know, everyone can laugh at themselves, I think, to a greater or lesser degree. But I mean, we've had such a tiny percentage of negative uh, feedback from it that, uh, you know, there's so many people are proud of the show and proud of being from heaven now. So it's, it's actually turned out to be an incredibly positive thing. Even the local football club, who've twice featured on Look North for their uh, um, colourful language, have made Jason their new ambassador to improve their public profile. Oh, it's a great honour for Heaven Town Football Club to have Jason yet uh, to accept this presidency, yeah. Are you proud of what he's achieved? I am very proud. I'm, I'm genuinely pretty blown away by it. So what does it mean in real terms? I think it just means that I pay for all the beer. And the place to do that, of course, is the Kelly, one of the town's pubs. Or should I say Swayze's, as it is in the series. I just think it's brilliant. Sorry, but I do. I think it's brilliant. My husband loves it. He howls at it. It's just um, taking the mick out of head and people, it's not true. Yeah. Definitely not true. That's to me what Heaven's about. I think it's been great. Hi, right, it's Cammy. All I wanted to do was to put Heaven on telly. And if people like it for better or worse, they know who we are now. Jason moved away six years ago to pursue his comedy career. But it seems you can take the boy out of Heaven, but yeah, you well, can't take Heaven right. out of the boy. My mum's really proud of the show. She's incredibly proud of the show. And when it's on, she puts on all the tellies in her house because she thinks it'll affect the viewing figures. Sharina Saga, BBC <laughs> Look North, Heaven.